what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we are working on the new silver truck now a lot of you know this is the og quicksilver drift truck i got another truck it is a 99 uh 4.8 five speed truck single cab short bed obviously silverado uh we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff to this thing take a good look at this thing Now I bought this truck uh, knowing it was going to need some love. Obviously, looking at it, you can tell it needs some TLC and uh, that's kind of what I'm doing on this one. And actually really excited about getting going on it. Hopefully today I can get pretty much everything on this truck as far as all the new parts I have for it. Uh, get all the paint off of it, the yellow paint that is. We're actually doing a full HD front on this truck. Uh, I already have it painted in the garage. Full HD front end going on this truck. All paint match ready to go. We got our fender flares here. Uh, we got some LEDs in a box somewhere over here. Good night, I need to clean my garage. But first things first, we gotta get this paint off. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. First thing here, get all this yellow paint off. It's the not so fun part of this whole build. Honestly, after looking at some of this stuff, I just wonder what is, what's going on here? Like there's just overspray right here. They like just taped it off and you can see overspray on the bottom side of the tape. And right here, it's like, bro, I'm going to go ahead and start with the shade side first. Not as much work here. He kind of already did some of it. So get the rest off of there. So I started uh, with the shade side. The other side it's all good now and this side was in the sun so i figured i'd drive it over in the shade get going on it in the shade because it's actually pretty warm today um but you know the deal you know what happens when you try to work on something other stuff comes up so i gotta go pick up a toy hauler trailer and then i'll get back on it i just want to just want to get this thing done though because i'm like really really stoked about seeing it all finished so Go pick up a trailer, get back on it. A few hours later. At least if I get this yellow stuff off, it'll be somewhat close to the same color for now. I'm probably gonna have to work on this a little later, paint this, this, and a few other things, so. Yep. <laughs> About freaking time, about two, three hours later, most of the paint is all the way off. So time to throw that HD hood, bumper, grill, lights, fenders, the whole nine. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah, bud. It's going down. <laughs> So after putting on the bumper, I realized I have to cut right here and lower these mounts, this one and this one, about an inch and a half, because the HD bumper goes down in the middle and then up about an inch and a half. So I gotta go ahead and do that.
not great, not bad. Learning. That'll hold. Ooh, Betsy. And this is why I love where I live. Midnight, just got done working on the truck. Check this out. Truck. Deers. That's pretty cool. Color looks way off in this lighting, but it's not too bad. It's it's pretty close in, in the daylight. <laughs> bad news, guys. It's the wrong color. So I'm an idiot. Uh, I didn't check the paint code in the glove box and it is a different color than my other truck. And so we're gonna paint this thing again. Round two, hopefully it'll work out better this time. To be fair, I am partially colorblind and partially just dumb. Um, but yeah, I guess there's two colors that are really close. One is uh, pewter metallic, which is the one that I need. And the one that I got was fine silver birch metallic. So, yeah. So I've been jamming away at this thing for a couple days now, repainted the hood, repainted the front end, but I got the lights on and I got the bumper on and I got the hood on and I just kind of sat back and I was like, dang, dude, that thing looks freaking aggressive, kind of like Quicksilver. Anyways, so long story short, we got that grill on there looking fresh. We ended up putting the fender flares on there and we went with a different set of wheels. Man, all I gotta say is wow. Take a good look at this thing. turned out pretty decent uh way too much work as always uh painted it twice had to do some stuff with the suspension and it's also a little bit lower than i would like so i gotta raise it up just a little bit maybe uh it does rub for all you that are asking yes it does rub not too bad but it, it does and there's still a lot of stuff to do little things i gotta put the passenger seats in um i gotta take the freaking purple uh stripe off the other side um a couple of here's and there's on the exterior of the truck the plastic piece that goes on the top of the tailgate i gotta get that uh, but overall truck's looking good had a lot of fun today just taking pictures and videos and stuff and rolling around i've actually never had a v8 five speed truck so this is my first one and it's just you know shifting gears it actually grinds in a second really bad but all the other gears are fine so it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, pretty excited for this one. It's kind of funny. This truck looks a lot like Quicksilver uh, in every way, but it's very different because it's actually a different color, different whole front end, different motor, different transmission, different rear end, um, different suspension. Quicksilver's got coilovers. This is just a regular uh, lowering kit. Uh, so it's just so different. Uh, 
Quicksilver's got 20 by 12s. This has got 20 by 10s. Uh, what else? I don't know. I kind of wonder what it feels like to get like 100 to 150 horsepower just instantly. So that should be on another video. Definitely have too many single cabs right now, but I enjoy building them. I enjoy working on them. And if I don't enjoy it, I will get rid of them. So, um, but for now I'm having fun, uh, enjoying it and, uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. So subscribe to the channel if you do, and we'll catch you on the next one.